Okay. I'll get off your lawn, Mr. Greg. Whenever the branch takes power, it's going to turn green. And the only thing you're going to use this power out thing for is to just hook it up to other branches. Other than hooking it up to other branches, you're going to want to stay from the power out. And whenever you're actually powering things, you're going to want to use the branch option, which is here. So as it stands, it only emits two power. And that doesn't power like jack shit other than maybe like a light. So say if you're powering heaters, each heater takes three electricity. You're going to come over here to your branch. You're going to type nine because you're powering three heaters. You're going to hit your branch, go boop, and then you're going to go like that. You're going to put power in, and then there's a pass through. You're going to go like that, and then that, that, and then that, and that. If you would like into something like this, a little bit more advanced, this is going to take 15 power, which I personally think is a little excessive. So we're going to add 15 to that 9. So we're just going to do 26, I think. There we go. So now that we got the neon sign going, I think it's time to work on the auto turrets. You're going to type 10, 10, 10 for all the branches that you're hooking up your turrets to. You can only use one branch per turret. so. I'm going to go ahead and clear that. What that's going to do is that's going to turn all those off. Here's with that. Boom. 10 power goes into the turret. Turret takes 10 power. Punch out. Boom. Just like that. So basically how the electrical branches work is you look at how much power it needs. You type it in here. Click set. You click on your little branch part. And you go like that. There you go. That's the kind of sign I like to see. I would like to add a small little disclaimer. I didn't go very in depth with the branches and I didn't expect to do a very advanced tutorial. This is like a uh, bare minimum that you need for like modded or something like that. But otherwise, if I did anything wrong or if you noticed any errors that I made, please let me know in the comments. Uh, all constructive criticism is appreciated. Again, this is just a small tutorial for anyone who's basically just starting out the game. Uh, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.